you can see he's quite anxious here. He's, there's a lot happening around him. And does anyone take in their horse's places and their horse gets anxious? And it gets really uppity and nervous. Um, if you have that situation with your horses, um, you've got to have a relationship with your horse, okay? You've got to have a connection with your horse. And that connection comes through leadership and trust. Now, there's a lot of people I meet that they've got a real good relationship with their horses when they're brushing them and they're scratching them and things like that and the horse really likes it and that's really important. You've got to have that relationship as well where you can rub a horse and they like it, where you can scratch them and they like it and all those things. But there's a lot of horses I see when they're operated, the horse gets a little bit anxious. Okay. Because the way the horse is operated makes it feel separated and disconnected. So it's not just how you, you pat your horses and scratch them and make them feel good to get trust. It's how you are as a person and how confident you may not be at the time, but if you pretend to be confident, confidence will come. Okay. I can't say to everyone, just be confident because that's not it's like oh I've just got bucked off and I've been in hospital for six months and uh, you want me to be confident well give yourself a little task and just try and sort of build each day at a time okay but for our horses confidence is a big important thing okay so you see me standing here talking to you the only catch with this demonstration is I'm not very present with him because I'm trying to talk to you okay so there's going to be a bit of a disconnection between us but the one thing I'm doing is I'm standing very solid like a big tree, aren't I? Just standing here talking. Now, he's rubbing on me a little bit there, but I'm not worrying about that. There's bigger things to worry about later on. What I do worry about every now and again is when he gets a little bit too distracted and, and that distraction turns into anxiety and that anxiety slips him away too far. And then when he starts to get away too far, he starts to get, get a bit worse. And it's like a snowball effect in horses. What happens when you've got a horse they start to get anxious about that tractor over there or this over here and they've got no help, they've got nothing, no tree to stand under, no herd to be with, then they're going to think they can do it all on their own, okay? So that turns into a snowball and gets bigger and bigger and bigger until the horse gets, gets really anxious. So what I did then is I just distracted him to change what he was thinking and that brought his focus back over to me and the calmness that I present in my pretending to be really brave. Okay, so I'm here just trying to be a big tree and a herd that he can stand because I'm present, which means he doesn't have to be the one on lookout, yeah?